okay so next topic is private and public key so as a general definition what private key and public key is to understand again if you search on internet you will get thousands and thousands of literature that how private and public key works and what it is but for our cause we need not to do again any deep dive on private and public key but what we need to remember is as the name suggests private key is any series or sequence of words okay which is known only by the user or it is known only by you remember when i was talking about uh, uh, when we were discussing this we talked about some random value this random value is nothing but it is a key okay if the key is known only to you and no one else that is the private key and if the key is known by everyone else which belongs to you that is the public key and also and also public key is derived from private key okay so it it's always in pair public and private key all they are always in pair okay so you first generate a private key and once you have the private key you generate a public key how it is generated what it is you need not to worry what you need to know is there there is a concept of public and private key private key is always only known to you and public key is related to private key and it will be known to everyone okay another synonym is for the private key for example your password your your in the uh, banking password or gmail password any password that is nothing but that is a private key right and public key is something like like your email address which you give it to everyone so that they can send it to you but only you can see the email right you get you take your email address you can give it to anyone so that they can send you an email but once the email is sent it is only you who using the private key can see the email and what the private key in gmail is is your secret is your password so again your email address is a pub is equal to public key where anyone can send you anything but if you want to see that particular particular stuff that what someone has sent you only you can see because you have the secret key or you have the password okay and how exactly if that is clear i'll go that okay how exactly public and private key works so here i've taken in the example i've taken as a uh, two two heroes like spider man and batman right so suppose spidey wants to send some data to bat okay so that's the requirement that spidey wants to send some data to bat but spidey also wants to make sure that the data is not stolen uh, or is not readable by anyone else so again the requirement is that spidey wants to send some data to bat but at the same time spidey wants to make sure that data is totally secure and no one else can read that particular set of data okay it is also given that public key of each other is known by each other so spidey has its own public private key pair bat man also has its own public and private key pair okay and bat's private key is known to Sp sorry bat's public key is known to spidey and spidey's public key is known to bat again i'm stating the rule spidey wants to send the data to bat spidey has its own public private key pair bat also has its own public private key pair bat's public key is known by spidey and spidey's public key is known by bat okay now in order to send the data from spidey to bat in order to and also want to secure the data so that no one else can read it what spidey will do spidey will take the public key of bat okay again i'm repeating 
Spidey will take public key of bat and using that public key it will encrypt the data. So there are certain algorithms again you need not to know how to encrypt it but there are ready-made algorithms available. What Spidey will do is Spidey will take the public key of bat it will encrypt the data using the public key of bat okay and and that encrypted data Spidey will send it to bat so e, the encrypted data goes to bat again so what happened in this step Spidey wants to send some data it took the public key of bat encrypted the data using the public key of <coughs> bat and has sent that encrypted data to bat now in middle in between if someone else found, found found out this data no one will be able to read it because it is an encrypted data right only bad can read it and how bad will read it this encrypted data okay uh, this text i think is not correct so ignore it this encrypted data once it is uh, okay sorry no that was right i think so spidey will encrypt data with bad's public key okay that's what is happening in this step okay now in order to bat decrypt the data what bat will do bat will use its own private key and using the private key bat will be able to decrypt the data and will be able to get original data so again we need not to worry what public and private key how the public and private key looks like how encryption and description works just take it as a black box that day is the, the way we talked about hash functionality okay just take it as a back black box that and but what you need to know or what you need to understand is how this public and private key works so so again my in my example spidey has to send something to bat spidey will encrypt the data using the bat's public key and will send the encrypted data to bat and bat what will do in order to, uh, in order bat to read the data bat will use its own private key it will decrypt it so that it can see the original data this way the data will be secured although this is a very simple example but entire encryption in this world is based on this methodology so if you understand this these four steps properly you can you know you are one step closer to understand any encryption methodology going forward and this is also what is followed in in the blockchain system Okay, so you need not to understand again how that encryption decryption work, but what you need to know is how this how you can use this public and private key. Because going forward, once you start using the blockchain system, every now and then you will be you, you will be dealing with private and public key. Even today, also you deal with private and public key, but it is made so easy that you have to just remember some password. But since blockchain system is still maturing, so you will have to maybe sometimes you will have to deal with raw private and public key again guys does that make sense animesh divyanshu himanshu jatin funkuri yes, let's move yeah. forward sorry himanshu say it again yeah let's move forward sir that's great okay okay good in the slide i thought uh, i didn't understand spidey batman but now i am i got it thank you <laughs> okay that's just an example you can take any example okay, okay but you sir. but you understand the concept that what i'm trying to say is that okay if i have to send a data to you i will use your public key to sign it and send it to you the encrypted data and then you using your private key you can decrypt the data yes uh, initially i thought that uh, i will encrypt with my own public key no initially i thought but yeah now, but now it's clear yeah because that's why i said at the start right that public and private key are always in pair so yes, using whosoever public key you will encrypt it only that person will be able to decrypt it because he has the private key oh. so i think again email is a very good example that okay uh, you will send you do not send email to yourself right you send email to someone uh, someone else and that person will be able yes, to his email only using his password that is the private key yes sir no it is clear no it's clear okay no good good okay then i 